Okay, hello everyone. And today we will talk about banner, especially 2.4 banner, which is full stack. And I don't know, I have time for every banner. Okay, let's go. Oh yeah, first disclaimer: if you are no, by any means, who to roll, just go roll for them and skip this video, and so you can have time for another thing besides watching this video. Okay. Okay, the first banner is send her. She is a cryo support, as Mihoyo said. And then we have Xiao together alongside with Senna. So you will have two banners in the same time. And the four star is pretty good. Actually, I just say about Yunjin, okay? Yunjin will be the another support, support character with Paul Arm again and Geo. Okay, that's weird. They have two Geos in the same banner. And two Cryos. What? So between Xiao and Senna. Okay, we will talk about Senha first. Senha is a cry support with pole arm as her weapon of choice and the skill buff your normal attack, charge attack or burst and skill damage for entire party. Scaling with her current attack and then burst is physical and cryo threat and that will be damage over time every second or so and she seems fun to play and yeah somehow she's related to Chongyun okay for Xiao Xiao is hyper DPS character with animal as his vision and also using Paul R and for the 4 star it will be the same as the one with Senha so you have to choose Xiao or Senha at this point or skip for January 2 which is Zhongli and Kanyu. So for the four star is pretty stacked. They are uh, one of the best four star in the entire game, especially Xingqiu. If you don't have one, just roll for him. At least zero constellation. So you have to choose Zhongli and Ganyu. Which one we will you choose? It depends. If you have already a, a cryo DPS such as Ayaka, you should skip Ganyu and pull for Zhongli. Zhongli is a shielder and with Geo Man and a pole arm user. His burst, as you can see, this is a meteor. He's summoning a meteor for enemies and deal a massive damage. And then the skill is shield and also summoning a pillar where take every second AoE. And then his skill is also summoning a shield if you hold it enough. And shield is pretty strong. I guess it is the strongest shield in the entire game. And scaling with HP. So any HP piece you have, you can put it in Zhongli and he will babysitting entire party. I currently I rarely use him or is it? Oh yeah, I use him with Ito because Spiral Abyss with Ito and Goro. You will need Zhongli because my weapon is Serpent Spine, which is Serpent Spine stack will lose if you hit by enemy. Okay, for the Ganyu. Ganyu is actually a very, very good character. Best damage dealing character. Highest damage dealing or etc. The point is, Ganyu is a huge damage dealer with her charge stack, which can further increase with Mel. Because she is cryo bow user, so if you pay her with, she can also deal melt damage, boost her damage even more. Zhongli or Ganyu, you have to choose one for because this banner is came, come at the same time, and the four star is the same, so you have to choose between Zhongli and Ganyu. If you don't have any main damage dealer, main DPS, and you have Xiangling with at least CC4 constellation for unlock and I will suggest you to run for Ganyu but if you have Xiao for from the last banner on you have Ito or Raiden Raiden is also good with Zhongli you can pull for Zhongli and if you are find it hard in Spiral Beast of course you can put Zhongli in this beast and you can forget about dodge yeah do everything you want Zhongli will keep your butt running i guess yeah that's it okay so this is four banner in the stack okay 
for F2P player, you only have one chance to get one on one of four character in this patch. So, who's to choose? You ask, maybe. First thing is if you want DPS and you don't have DPS at this point, you can roll for Xiao because his damage is also huge. But thing is, his kit is draining his life, literally. The HP will be decreased for every second, three or two percent, depending on his level, talent level. So if you're not confident with that, you can choose Ganyu, easy to play kind of play style with her charge attack and call it the day. But charge attack is also a big problem if you are playing on mobile because it's so hard, you know, to aim with mobile or not. Yeah, whatever. But the damage output Ganyu is better than Xiao, actually. Okay, if you do have DPS like Ito or Ayaka or Yoimiya, I suggest you to choose where Senha or Chongli because these two characters is a support character that can make you safely guarantee to do this with ease. For Senha, if you have already got your Ganyu or Ayaka with further damage boost, you can have Senha or Kazuha maybe. No, 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 Senha. And then also, if you have another another DPS unit other than Cryo, I will suggest you to pull for Zhongli because of his kit. His kit having a shield that can block any damage. Not actually any. But you get the point, okay? So if you have like Diluc, Klee, uh, even Yanfei here, and Yoimiya, uh, maybe Raiden Shogun or Yula. Yeah, Yula is a physical DPS, not cryo. So, pairing Senha with Yula is a bad thing, I guess. Okay, so you have you have the four character in the same patch, and you know what to choose, and you have a spare primal gems in your hand, and you. You actually don't need the constellation, any of this character. Of course, you can roll for them again. But if you really, really don't want another character, you have a choose to roll for weapon, weapon banner. Okay, this is the first time we have the weapon banner. The five star is the same type of weapon. You have Calamity Queller, I guess it, it is the best in slot for Senha. And you have Primordial Jade Wing Spear, that is the best in slot for Xiao, of course. And the boat is a good pole arm, except they are below Homa, of course. And what it means to be the good pole arm is they both increase attack for character and pole arm character, all, all of it. Always in need of attack person, except Yunjin. We'll talk about that later, okay? So if you roll this banner, if you want Calamity Queller and you got the Primordial Jade Wing Spirit, it's okay. You can take it because they both great and they both good. So if you have Senha and you roll and got the Primordial Jade Wing Spirit, that's a, not a problem. You can still use it. It's a good weapon. Okay, for the four star, actually the high high priorities they are pretty mediocre, and you should not target it one of them. If you really want the five star weapon, just go for it. Okay, don't look at the four star. Okay, for the second part of the weapon banner, it is. More, more or less, yeah, I guess. I guess no one will roll for this weapon. Yeah, almost can be acquired in the standard banner. And Vortex Vanquisher, actually, uh, it was the best in slot for Zhongli, but 
it is not anymore because of Homa with the HP percent critical damage. Luckily, I got up one of them. And Vortex Vanquisher is actually cannot be used by Zhongli that much because how the passive works, you have to hit enemies with normal attack for at least seven times, so the stack is full, and you have to be shielded. And of course, Zhongli have the above one hundred percent shield uptime. It is the best for hybrid Zhongli because. The substat is even attack, not HP. And for Amos Bow, it is actually best in slot for Ganyu. And if you don't have Ganyu and instead have Amber with her normal attack crowned, and you can use Amos Bow. It is almost the same DPS output. Or maybe not. Okay, next is the 4 star. It's pretty scuff, you know. You have Lithic Blade that is cannot be found in permanent banner, but it is really really not that good. You need four Li Yue's character to make this blade is really really good and can compete against that Wolf Greystone or even Serpent Spine on Refinement 5. We got four banner, okay. Uh, you have to choose one or you can choose Yai Miko. And it is pretty close. So if you don't want Ganyu or Zhongli or Xiao or Senha, you can choose Yai Michael. Even we don't know yet the kit, if you have a simp for Yai, you can draw for her instead of for this for Liyue character. That's actually pretty good also. But not actually good because we don't test Sanha and Yunjin. Uh, yeah, so if you really want Sanha but don't know what about her and how much her support is gonna be, just wait for 100 YouTuber testing that Sanha can be good. And actually, I, I am waiting for Sanha, so later I will test the Abyss and bringing the Abyss video guide to you about 2.4 power and also the Yunjin even though I don't know where to put Yunjin actually maybe in Ito maybe in Ayaka okay that's it for this video I guess yeah that that pretty much it I hope you enjoy this video uh, and my pretty scuff English of course and see you next time bye